We are so glad you could join us again. I am with Greg Angert, beer director for the Neighborhood Restaurant Group, a James Beard Award nominee. The group includes uh, Church Key and uh, Birch and Barley on 14th Street near Logan Circle. Haven't given any love to uh, Iron Gate for a while in DuPont, and then you've got um, Partisan and Red Apron in Penn Quarter. Greg, it is always good to see you. Too, you what do we have on tap this week? A little lighter than last week's. Yes, 19 this and is a half five point eight. Yeah, <laughs> we've dialed it back to five point eight percent. This is um, so a wonderful new release <laughs> from the Vale, our friends down south in Richmond. Uh, it is a beer called Escape, and it is a bit of a departure for them because we know the Vale mostly for their canned offerings of really, really super aromatically hoppy IPAs, double IPAs, triple IPAs. Some of their adjunct sweeter pastry stouts. Um, they've done some incredible spontaneous fermentation work and um, we've seen a little bit of that. But now they're really pushing uh, the pedal on their mixed fermentation program. So this beer Escape is just that. It takes the base recipe of Master Shredder, which is their standard IPA with mosaic. It takes the wort, so the, the sugar water recipe, and instead of fermenting it in stainless steel and then dry hopping it like an IPA, they take that wort, throw it into um, fresh uh, red wine barrels, French oak, where they'll add some different strains of Britannomyces, which will give it a little bit of funk and dry it out. Then they'll hit it with another mixed culture, probably with a little bit of bacteria like lactobacillus, and leave it in the bulk barrels for a year, 12 months. When it's all done, they dry hop it like they would dry hop Master Shredder with mosaic hops, and you get an incredible, um, incredible beer. Wow. Lightly tart, but not overwhelming. Um, beautiful, mellow, restrained funk in the nose. Great little bit of hop character. Seems like the tartness level is just right. I mean, just so you right. get some, and, and, and it, does, it doesn't mean it's bad. You get some, there's, you know, I mean, it's getting close to sucking on a lemon. That's just how yeah. tart they are. This isn't this that like that at all. This is just pinpoint, piquant. It's really unique. Little oak. Uh, I think they're going to do well with that one. I mean, this they seem to do well yeah. with everything. Yeah, no, this is Vails. just phenomenal. Um, so, yeah, I mean, just a, a really cool uh, cool thing. And uh, the Vale is sending up a bunch of bottles to neighborhood restaurant groups. So you'll see some of like a church key and sovereign and, and things like that. So a really, really cool beer to seek out. Five and a half percent. Is that typically what the, the, the range of this style? Well, I mean, it's a unique style, but... Uh, sour beers, they're, they're generally on the lower they, end. Yeah, yeah I mean, for the most part, you, they, you could do what you want, but I think um, the cool thing is they're starting with, the, actually, they're, the IPA base that they're starting with, which is kind of a misnomer because it's not originally, it's not hopped like that originally, it's just dry hopped. But Master Shredder is only 5.5%, which is actually on the lower end of the spectrum for an IPA. Uh, but yes, funky mixed fermentation beers, sours, tend to be in the five to seven range, I would say. Um, traditional Lambic is typically in the five to six and a half range. Um, so this at 5.8% is, is right where it should be. I know some people, and you know them, and uh, one of them might be me, who, you know, who get into this habit of like, uh, uh, that's, uh, it's, it's not uh, seven or above, I'm not gonna try that, but that's just silliness. Because you're just missing out on oh, yeah, some, yeah. on nuance tasty and delicacy. Beer. I mean, yeah, you just yeah, can't yeah. go by the ABV alone, even though some of us might do that sometimes. Yeah, and a lot of times as you get the higher, the stronger the ABV, um, the more intense the flavors can be, which can muddle some of the nuance. I mean, as I go back to this class, I pick up something new every time. Things that tend to be 10, 12, uh, even 20 percent don't always have to be, but can be a little bit um, too emphatic and too focused and, and lack some of that. Uh, complexity and subtlety you get with lower alcohol beers. What would you, what you pair this with? Uh, it's got to be a lot. Yeah, I mean, it's got this beautiful grapefruit tang to it. There's tangerine. There's, mm -hmm. there's that really nice bit of acidity that you mentioned. So you can start with your um, seafood. I would love to do this like, like with some smoked salmon or like smoked trout dip or something. I think it'd be great. Seared scallops, just a lobster, <laughs> a broiled lobster would be amazing with this, you know. Um, the acid loves salt, so the salt of the seafood, but you can move it into like ham, ham dishes and things like that. Um, it's got a little bit of a, that, that tangy um, vinaigrette quality to it, so not that it's vinegary at all, but it's got that bright lemony quality. I think it would make it great for bitter greens like 
arugula, uh, frise. And then I was just, just because I, I love German food, I was thinking of like, you know when you get schnitzel? Just a huge veal schnitzel I or something. Do know. Fried. I know. It's a big smile on my yes. face. That's and you squeeze thing. a lemon over the top. I think this would be phenomenal with, with you know, anything that's pounded down, like veal scallopine or scallopini or like uh, schnitzel or like just an Italian cutlet would be fantastic. Am I thinking, am I, am I being wrong in thinking Asian food, soy sauce? Is that, you think maybe? You could, I, mean, you could I know do you're it. honest with me when I'm That might way be a little base. bit rich and sweet for this, <laughs> okay. I think. Okay, um, see? Maybe uh, not. I think that, that huge imperial stout we did last week would have been awesome. Would be awesome with anything soy based. All right, so go back and watch <laughs> last Rewind. week's and go back and watch the hundreds of other beers we've done in more than six years now. <laughs> Greg, thank you as thank always. You. Everyone, please always do drink responsibly and be sure to bring your thirst next time for another beer of the week.